Good evening and welcome to tonight's programme. First, the enormous eyesore in the middle of one of our biggest cities, which is going to be there for years. Well, the demolition gangs moved in last year to flatten a huge area around Forster Square in Bradford to make way for a massive new development. And that is how it's remained ever since. Well, today it's been confirmed to look north. It'll take at least three years before the planned shopping centre is up and running because retailers have yet to sign on the dotted line. Ben Cryer has been investigating the story behind Bradford's bomb site. Caught on camera, the changing face of Bradford, the demolition of the old to make way for the new, but a year on and the Broadway centre is still a pile of rubble. No diggers, no workmen, just a scar on the city's face. It's been there forever, so it's part of the landscape now, really. Look at the city yourself. It doesn't look clean like this. You know what I mean? It's not good looking. The dream was to build a £300 million shopping centre with 180 apartments and a large car park. But the building won't start until at least six major retailers have signed up. So far, Bradford has only managed to attract two. Debenhams and BHS. We're not going to walk away, we are going to build it. Um, but these things take time and the commercial hurdles have to be sort of vaulted, as it were, before we can move on to the next stage. And I'm afraid we're in the position of running towards those hurdles at the moment. They talk about hurdles and the news that Debenhams has signed up brings them one step closer. But there are those who fear for the whole project. What would happen if the um, the major companies did not sign up, and of course we hope that they do, and we still hope that they do now, but what would happen if they didn't, and what would be the alternative that would be on offer? There's no dispute this is an exciting project that will bring jobs and money to Bradford, but the developer says that's at least three years away, and when you have to walk around a mountain of rubble every day, that can seem a long time. And the real question is, which way to go round? The project is now gathering speed, but while Bradford waits, it runs the risk of falling behind Leeds, its already glamorous and prosperous neighbour. Ben Cryer, BBC Look North, Bradford. That was Ben Cryer reporting, so let's find out what the future really holds for Bradford City Centre. And joining us is Councillor Andrew Mallinson, who's a member of Bradford Council's Regeneration and Housing Committee. Regeneration, uh, it looks like a bomb site, Councillor. Um, I wouldn't exactly call it a bomb site. Uh, I, I do, um, you know, take on board people's concerns that it has been an empty site for a long time. Um, but that was a, a combination of things: the fact that the council and Westfield worked very closely together and actually completed a level a level playing field in a, in a very short space of time and ahead of schedule. No, what you did was you levelled a lot of buildings, which many people in Bradford say should have stayed there until you had all the tenants required to actually start putting something up. Well, it's strange because a lot of the comments at the, the particular time were that there were very old uh, 1960s buildings that were actually derelict uh, and on a lot of vacant, uh, vacancies in, the, in those buildings. And there were actually an eyesore. Uh, and in fact, we've been complimented actually now for, for levelling them. And actually, some of the architecture being able uh, to, to be seen now by people. Well, I'm going to tell you, I was in Bradford this morning and that wasn't what people were saying. They're saying that the heart has been ripped out of the, of the city, that you know uh, most of the shops have now gone. It's, it's a, a shopping centre full of of charity shops that you've pulled down the market years ago and now you're going to ruin what's left of the city well I, you know I can I can comment on that because we've uh, we've just seen Primark uh, actually invest heavily into uh, Bradford City Centre uh, for, for their store uh, we've got a fantastic Kergate Centre uh, and when Broadway comes online we'll have a fantastic shopping centre there at the same time are you telling me honestly that you prefer Kergate to the old Kergate market uh, I prefer redevelopment within the Bradford City Centre and there's going to be disruption and there's going to be heartache for a lot of people um, but I'm sure that we'll win them back once the development is up and running. And bear in mind this is only one part of the parcel for regeneration for the city centre. Can I ask you one thing, why is it going to be three years? Surely, surely you can actually get to work and start doing something with it now. It would make us all feel so much better, Councillor, when we walked past it. Uh, let's remember that Bradford Council is only a partner in this and actually Westfield are the developers for the site. Uh, and I do take on board these, these, these comments that people are making, um, but I will assure people that as soon as Westfield are on site, we'll, they are looking at a two-year build, not a three-year build. Um, but again, this is only one part of a parcel for a very big regeneration project for the city centre and for the Bradford district. Councillor, we'll be watching. We look forward to it. Thank you.